Roger Dodger in the building. Thank you, Sabi D. Thank you, uh, Richard Kimball. First, he's first, first. Even though he's third, but it's cool. You're first in your mind, bro. That's all that matters. <laughs> That's all that matters. And you're here. So thank you for being here. Yeah, anywhere else to be, and we appreciate you being here. All right. Um, Baker Buzz, who's got him? Nick V. Ari. Uh, Ari Rose. Okay, so we'll start with you guys. This is Thoughtful <coughs> Thursday. No, this is uh, Feel Good Friday. Right. Yep, Feel Good Friday. Friday. Yep. Feel, Eric, we want you to start and put this up a little bit. Uh, all right. Um, check, 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 check. Make sure that is it muted. Got it muted? All right. It is a Feel Good Friday at the Baker Boys Daily Show, along with Ari Rose. Of course, coming up this hour, we got your Baker Boys getting you caught up with entertainment and beyond. Yes, Beyonce shares a powerful message ahead of Cowboy Carter release dates. Oh, and J. Cole previews unreleased song. He's got a new video. He's got a whole thing. It's like a, it's a vlog, and he's teasing a new album. Yes. We're excited about it right here at the Baker Boys Daily. Back to the music. How's the level, guys? Is it a little loud, or is it okay? Carter release date. Oh, and J. Cole previews. It is a Feel Good Friday at the Baker Boys Daily Show, along with Ari Rose. Of course, hey, coming up this work. hour, we got your Baker Buzz getting you caught up with entertainment Listen. and beyond. Yes, Beyonce shares a powerful message ahead of Cowboy. It's picking it's up more room. It, just a little bit, yeah. It picks up more room. You I can what? probably take this off and put uh, one of the popper stoppers on it. Where is it at? It's, can you get it over there? It's in there, and I'm going to need a... Uh, a uh, freaking Phillips screwdriver. Yeah, you just have to go in the back and get one. In the back in the toolbox area where the tools are. It, I mean, just look in one of the drawers, bro. It's it's a, a screwdriver drawer. There's one back there. Uh, sounds good. No, no, I can hear the sound. It's different. Uh, it sounds like you're talking right <laughs> into my ear. <laughs> oh, my God. I oh, can't. see, there you go. That works. <laughs> That works. It's alive. <laughs> Three fingers. Three fingers up, throwing the west side. Yo, that Lincoln trailer, it's alive. It, it's alive. Terrible. It's alive. Uh, and that was part of the movie. They never showed the damn thing until the very end. By the way, is, is it, are you reversing it? I already have it reversed, I think. No, no, that's, no it looks that's, like it's tightening That's the other way. There you go. And that's reversed. I'll strip that motherfucker. Ooh, there we got it. Wow, Ooh. look at you with that tool in your hand. Yeah, it's so sexy. <laughs> Live on the job here. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> A man that could change his own microphone. Ooh. Yes. You do powerful things with your hands, Let's see. Aaron. Put on that, put on that <laughs> condom. Put the condom. That yeah. should help, right? See? And we just fix it just like now that, we're guys. we're talking. Just All right. fix it. You got to close the door, though. Sorry. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. <laughs> I know that's it. I, I still use that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody does. Everybody does. I don't. I never heard of that until no. really? today. What? what? Never heard of that saying. So that's the kind of work that Eric V's done yeah. in his life. Nothing. Time. He's never had <laughs> nothing. That. I always that remember lesson. clockwise and counterclockwise. That's what I remember. All right. Today is World Water Day. Eric, right. can you start? Yeah. It's the Baker Boys right here on a Feel Good Friday, guys. Man, today is something we cannot live without. Mm -hmm. uh, we have no planet with water. We can't live without it, right? Well, World Water Day, Eric V. Water Day aims to bring water aid to people who truly need it across all borders. Everybody deserves to have fresh, clean water no matter where you are in this world. Absolutely. For sure. And we're grateful for ours. Thank you. All right. Uh, Baker Buzz dry teas. All right. Coming up in this hour's Bake a Buzz Party, people, what do you got? So Beyonce is about to drop her new album, yeah. Cowboy Carter, and mm -hmm. she has some powerful words ahead of the release date. Also, J. Cole is teasing a brand new song from his vlog. We're excited. I'm excited. Y'all should be excited as well. He's a king. It's the Baker Boys Daily. 102 Jams. Hip Hop, Hip -hop made. made. It's the Baker Buzz. From Hollywood and beyond. We specifically said no cameras. Twice a show. We do it hour one and hour three. So let's get you caught up right now. Let's talk about Beyonce. I want to backtrack it. Remember the days where a new album would come up. You'd have to go to the store. Yeah. You'd have to line up right. to buy the album physically. Now it's just on your phone. It just shows up. You yeah. just stream it wherever you want. But Beyonce is talking about her new album, Cow uh, Cowboy Carter. Yeah. So Beyonce has expressed her gratitude to those who have supported the tracks Texas Hold'em and 16 Carriages. She explained that the project was born out of an experience five years ago where she felt unwelcome at a Nashville awards ceremony. Ah. 
She says it forced her to take a deep dive into the history of country music. Huh. So she wrote, my hope is that years from now, the mention of an artist's race as it relates to releasing genres of music will be irrelevant. What do you guys think about that? I mean, that's good. That's great. Yeah. I mean, she obviously felt shunned. And yeah. she felt like she's, she's like, I need to really study what's going on with this different art form. I mean, yeah. it's the same. It's, it's all music, right? It's all right. music. It's all different types of music. Right. Everybody has their preference. I am not a fan of country music whatsoever. I used I, to hate country music a long time ago. And then I really sat down and listened to the lyrics and the meaning behind the writing of the music. And I kind of fell in love with it. Honestly, I'm a secret yeah, country I, music I, lover. I, I love country music. I feel but, like everything is about a big truck getting drunk yeah, and somebody yeah, cheating. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> it. There's, That's what I feel like it's all about but, <laughs> but you know what i don't like about this is that now everybody that is doing country goes like oh well beyonce did it first oh beyonce no, wore no, a no. hat so now everyone's wearing hats no this has like been <laughs> out there forever like k michelle for example she came out as uh she was like one of the people that what is it called yodeling oh yodeling yeah yeah, yeah. and that's what she actually blew up from so now that she's out here doing country everyone's like oh you're doing it because beyonce no actually she was doing it way before beyonce hey guys so, if you search yodeling on Pornhub, something crazy will come out just oh. like Oh, you know. stop. What? <laughs> it's Charlie for this. So J. Cole has put out another tour vlog. It's called Might Delete Later, Volume 2. In the right. video, J. Cole has given his fans a look at his time in the studio, chilling with the homies Drake, Central C, Benny the Butcher, and Little Yachty. And around five minutes into the uh, video, he starts to play a song from his upcoming project, which mm. we're really excited about. There's no date as of yet, mm. but we know when he drops something, it's always special. Go back to listen to his first project. If you don't know a lot about J. Cole, he was signed by Jay-Z very early on in Rock Nation. He was actually the first signee. By really? The, yeah. You don't remember that? It's a long time ago. And he was signed to Sony Records. So congratulations mm. to J. Cole and uh, looking forward to his new album Yeah, project. J. Cole is brilliant. I love J. Cole as an artist. He's, He's one of the great. smartest out there. Yeah. All right. So coming up with my next Baker Buzz, we're going to talk about the U.S. no longer being ranked in the world's top 20 happiest countries. It's time to leave, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Falling out of the top 20, guys. I'm out of here. Not good. All right, two SF locals. All right, uh, I got this. I'm going to do the Mr. Fab thing okay, real quick. Okay. Let's do that right now. One uh, or two. Wait, give me a second, brother. Oh. I, I'm, I'm doing, I'm, I'm having to readjust over here. Over here. Yeah. All right, uh, I'm ready now. All right. Feel Good Friday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building 102 Jams Hip Hop made later on. I have a brand new mouth love for everybody to enjoy. Yay. All right, nice, nice. We got to shout out Mr. Fab. Yeah. He's getting the the key to the city of Oakland. Wow. Uh, the, 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 the rapper shared the news on his social media, sharing how proud he was. He says, I really have the key to the city, living in real time. Sometimes you don't get a chance to reflect on your, compli your accomplishments, but look this, but I look this, uh, but I look second. But I look, but I took a, one more time. But I took a second this morning and said, good job, Stanley. I'm proud of me. Oh, hey, Aww. Stanley. So that, that's big. <laughs> Do you remember that's the first exciting. time we met Mr. Fab, Eric? Oh, man. Uh, she's had Jazzy to be. Jazzy and his brother introduced Jazzy us to. Jazzy Jim? Jazzy Jim introduced yeah. us to his new artist that he was working with. Right. And we were in the Bay Area. It was 2001. Yeah. Oh, and wow. we went to the office and we met Mr. Fab. And now he's got New Era. And now he's he's the king of the city. I mean, yeah. uh, too short, obviously, first and foremost. Yeah. And then E40, but look at this new generation yeah. man is getting his love that he deserves. Yeah, yeah, so and he's like Mr. he's like younger, so obviously he like um, is a great role model for the younger generations. And you he know, stays in the city, and he stays giving back. Yes, yeah. that's yes. the that's the most important thing. So. Well, we appreciate Absolutely. him, and he yeah. deserves it, right? Yeah, one or two jams, hip hop, hip -hop made. made. Congratulations, yes. Mr. Fab. All right, that's thank that you, one. Richard Campbell. Uh, who's got the second one? Uh, we could just do a regular conversation. Um, I got one. All right. It's 102 Jams, Hip Hop Made, Baker made. Boys in the Morning Time. So they're saying, like, we shouldn't be booking our flights too early. How early do you book your flights? Like a week. Like depends. a week. Wow, that's really late. Like a week ahead. It depends on I where mean, you're going. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you're going to plan, like, five months, six months, or a year ahead, I can't yeah. plan... I am not that type of person that can plan that far ahead, man. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing this weekend. So don't ask me. But it's so expensive <laughs> if you book at the last minute. Yeah. Yeah, it gets more expensive. But yeah. I guess there's certain day, days where the deals are better. Well, think, sorry. Go ahead. USA Today recently analyzed flight costs and found that booking a domestic flight more than five months out is a mistake. Oh, no. 
right. really? No, yeah. that's terrible because people like to plan ahead. Look, for instance, yeah. my mother-in-law, she is a planner and she has everybody's everything going down. She wants to make sure that we book our flights <laughs> and she's in advance. She just sent me something like three o'clock in the morning to book in, uh, to, to get into our ship that's yeah. coming up. But like, I don't need to uh, check in. No, I don't need to check in right now. It's, it's, it's in a month and a half. <laughs> well, you know what's great? <laughs> Check in six weeks in advance. I'll be there. (laughs) Yeah, so anyways, they're saying that um, fees actually are higher if you book five months and farther out you wow. know what i mean that's so so anything between like two to three months is a good it's a good amount of time to book your flights all right well it's good to know what about international any word on international international flights? should be booked anywhere between two and seven months in advance for the best fares now that was a little trickier right because i mean international fares are so expensive you're talking three thousand sometimes right. two three four thousand dollars yeah. yeah exactly and, and you really want to have that planned out with an itinerary so yeah, my daughter's actually going to Spain this Friday. Oh, man. How oh, wait, far? Wait, for this Friday. Today is Friday. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Have fun in Spain. She leaves tonight. It's yeah. One, one or two jams hit about me, y'all. All right. Hour number two. <coughs> um, hour number two. Um, let me see here. Um, I got a dummy of the day. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go with that. Go ahead. All right. It is a Feel Good Friday at the Baker Boys Daily Show, along with Ari Rose. Of course, coming up, Nick V, you got a dummy of the day. There's a guy in Texas, man. He got busted for marrying over 10 women. Oh, my God. One of those. I can barely deal with one. (laughs) Three and a half weeks. Thanks for being here in the chat. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, it is a Feel Good Friday, but it is time for your Dummy of the Day. People are always doing dumb stuff, so guess what? We're here to let you know how dumb they are. <laughs> yeah, you thought you were dumb? Listen to this. If you're going to marry a bunch of women, don't tell them. If you're going to marry a bunch of women and not tell them, hiding the evidence will probably be smart. A Texas man married at least 10 women Jeez. from different states, and now he's going to prison. His name is Orlando Coleman. He is the dummy of the day. He was pretending to be a bishop who traveled to churches around the country. After tying the knot with each one, he would take advantage of the women's for fina- of the women for financial gain. Oh it all God. came crashing down when he wed the wrong Houston native. She found <laughs> checks from other women and did her own investigation. Coleman was sentenced this week to three years behind bars. Hey guys, wait. So is he in jail because of like the fraud stuff or like something like that, or is it because it's actually illegal to have more than one wife? Well, I think he it's was probably both. Yeah, he was already on probation for the same offense when he got busted uh, this time. So he got okay. He's been okay, doing okay, it, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a serial marrier. It's, <laughs> <laughs> so, almost like, it's, it's almost like as bad as a guy who uh, went to Burger King and got a check for to be a divorce attorney. <laughs> right? That wow. guy. So that's the dummy of the day oh, coming out Jesus. of Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, Baker Boys Daily. Feel good Friday. Any story goes here? Let's go. It's the Baker Boys Daily on a Feel Good Friday. Later on in the show, we have a mouth love for y'all. Yes, we need that positive vibe in our lives. And speaking of positive, sometimes positive words are a little negative. Oh. I have some phrases that are meant to be uplifting that can sound annoying. Ooh. Damn. 102 Chance, baby. Hip-hop made. made. You know. TV slash The Baker Boys. It's a Feel Good Friday with The Baker Boys, your favorite daily show every single day on your favorite radio station. Of course, now we're talking about positive phrases that can sound negative. Yeah, so you're a little more on the grumpy side, Eric. Oh, I definitely am. So what are I am some... the grouch of the radio show. <laughs> so... 100%. So what are some things that maybe Nick or I tell you? Because we're positive polys on this side. Oh, okay. So there's, there's a level of happiness. Sometimes if you're too happy... <laughs> yeah. It will drive me crazy. But is there something we ever say or something that people tell you that are like you just roll your eyes? Good morning, usually. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, listen, I have to be honest. Nick, be honest. Do you ever feel like sometimes you're too positive? Like where you annoy yourself because you're so positive? <sighs> no. Uh, what I find because I'm always positive is like I find myself down sometimes and I'm like, damn, I got to get it up. I got to raise the positivity yeah, level. Yeah, you don't allow yourself to be in there. No, I can't, you know, because y- y- your mind will keep you there. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes, well, I'm going to give you the list of phrases right now that can get annoying, but I will be honest, sometimes when I'm talking to somebody and they're like in a negative mood vibe, or yeah. vibe, 
and I'm being positive, I almost feel like I should not be that positive because it's almost like offensive or something or like, right. you know, where I, I feel like I'm being annoying. Well, the best thing to do is just listen in. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you're right. Great advice. Well, here are some phrases if you are positive polys like Nick and I that can sound down, downright annoying. Okay. Happiness is a choice. Yes. It is what it is. Oh, mm-hmm. boy. Live, love, laugh. Wow. Okay. You got this. You got this. Good vibes only. Ooh. Uh, see, I'm not see, annoyed by any of those so far. It depends on when those phrases are used, right. though. You know what I mean? You can't, yep. if, if something just happened real terrible in your life, you can't say good vibes only. Okay, what about this one? <laughs> look on the bright side. <laughs> nobody, right. If you're in a bad mood, nobody wants to look at the nah. bright side. There is no bright side at this moment. All right, here's a lesson right here. There's always a lesson in what's going on in your life. Yes. All right, there's a way to be positive right there and put a spin on it for some, for, so somebody can understand what they're going through is not just happening to them, it's happening for, for them. them. Right. Hello. Yep. Well, there you go. Uh, one last one count your blessings. Okay. Ain't I nothing mean, wrong with that, th- man. None of those were annoying to me as good morning. That one. I, I'm going to tell. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> when I just wake up, just leave me alone. Let oh, me, my let God. Let my mind settle in a little bit, please. Jeez. Oh, my God. Okay, well, I'm going to I'm gonna throw these at you next time you're in a grumpy mood okay. and see. Good we'll vibes see. only. Yeah, yes. good vibes only. <laughs> if I throw a banana Wait. and hit you in the face, that's why. Okay? The other morning when he was in a bad mood, can you imagine if I would have walked in and been like, good vibes only? <laughs> he would have thrown a microphone at me. <laughs> yeah, I would have thrown something at you for sure. Baker oh. Boys Daily. Yo, good morning. Yo, what up, uh, Asia? All right, let's let's. let's what up, McCracken? Let's finish. Um, Go along with that. This is the SF local, so it's just a conversation. Okay. okay. It's the Baker Boys 102 Jams, Hip Hop Made on a Feel Good Friday. Don't forget, later in the show, my brother Nick B will be dropping that mouth love going into the weekend. Yeah, I just wrote it for everybody out there. So it's beautiful and it's oh, brand new for everybody. New. So earlier we were talking about phrases that might be a little annoying. Positive when, phrases. Positive fra- phrases that can be annoying sometimes when you're in a bad mood. Right. Yep. So right. let's talk about how you uplift the mood in the room or with somebody. Mm. For instance, like you said, the other morning we came in, Eric V was a little heated. I was mad. He was mad. I was very upset, but I did warn you guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> did, I, did I not warn you? I said, no, look, yes. I'm in a bad mood. You guys might want to stay out of the room for a while. I walked in and I said, I looked at what was going on and I said, oh my God, what happened? Yeah. And he immediately looked at me and said, don't ask no questions. I'm about to walk yeah. out of this room and take a breather because I'm about to lose it. Because I, I was know like, okay. that, you know, <laughs> Nick and Ari are the positive part of the show. Okay. I'm more of the negative side. I'm more of the dark side. I'm more of the moody side and Thank I know Darth Vader I, I, and, I, <laughs> and I know that the energy I can bring can be overwhelming for people because you will know when I'm pissed yeah, oh yeah There's it's no, inevitable you know you will feel yeah. that energy and I didn't want you guys to be around it so I was yeah. trying to save you guys. Thank you very much for saving us and warning us, <laughs> yes. of course. But what, what I wanted to get into is how you actually shift the energy in the room and what's going on. So uh, we're going to talk about that coming up next. 102 Gems. Hip Hop Made. Made, baby. Sally, that girl with the five P. Yes. Thank you, Sally. Thank you, Sally. We love you. Appreciate you. What? The Mega Boys 102 Jams, Hip Hop Made. Uh, of course, Eric V, Nick V, and Ari, Ari Rose. Rose. It's your brand new morning show every single day. So as you're getting to hear us uh, every day, you're getting to hear, you know, know us each individually. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Differently. I'm the grumpy, uh, dark side, negative one out of the three. <laughs> I will always throw a monkey wrench in something positive, no matter what it is. Always. It could be like, you know, this kid gets a prosthetic leg and I'll do something to make fun of his leg somehow. But in, a, in a bad way. Which, which I shouldn't. Which I shouldn't. The fact that you're so proud of this, I'm not, this is it's funny. Not, I'm not proud of it. This no, is, but that's who you so, are. Look, I am an antisocial person by nature. So yeah. when I get on the radio, I get to actually let the other side of me out. All these feelings. Yeah. <laughs> All these built up emotions. Yeah. Yeah. If you're sitting next to me at a bar, at a restaurant, you'll have no idea who, no. You're, who how, you're sitting next to. No. How, how much he's judging you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh, my God. So I'm trying to tell everybody how I like to change the energy in the room and something is happening. Number one, if somebody has some negativity on them or they're upset about just, something. Just say Eric. Give him space. <laughs> yeah. Number one, give him space and also remove yourself from their space so you don't have to um, 
take that on, take that energy. Right, on. right, right, right. Another thing I like to do is light incense or Palo Santo or sage or something like that. Mother Nature to help us clear that negativity in mm-hmm. the air. And when you do that, not only are you signifying to spirit that we want to clear this negativity, but also to the person that has this negative energy on him right. mm-hmm. to allow him to remove that and let him know that he's in a safe space and we're going to get through this together. And that's yeah. all I wanted to say. This is how I like to do it, guys. And so, Ari, how do you help somebody get out of a negative space or or get yeah. out of their way? Yeah. Well, you know, I think what's more important about this conversation, and maybe we can talk about this on another break, is how do we get ourselves out of a negative space? Mm. Because we can't control if we can get somebody out of a negative space. That's up to you. them. I got, right. I got something but, for that. Yeah. But... <laughs> being accountable because I know I catch myself sometimes in a bad space where Mm -hmm. I'm like something like pisses me off and then I'm driving and I start noticing I get every red light then I get this (laughs) and it's like you start attracting all this negative emotion and you start building 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 and before you know it It's like you the other morning, right? You were like, and this happened, and my laptop, and now this. And it's just like everything. (laughs) Everything. It's like, oh, my God, what a crappy morning already. (laughs) But you still have the option to change that. So, Nick, I think we should talk about that and how we can help our listeners if they're having a bad morning this morning, how to change that energy. Yep, next hour. Stay tuned. Baker Boys Daily 102 Jam. Hip Hop Made. DJ Raptor Soldier, thank you for that follow. And you got the uh, sub as well. That's what's up. All right. So Uh-oh. we don't have birthdays today. All right. Okay. Oh, no, I do. I do. Oh. But um, next is Bake a Buzz. What'd you guys teach? All right. Uh, uh, by the way, you the other day when we did this, the, the story, the What the F News about the sea turtle, you, we didn't do a, set, a setup. Mm-hmm. So we can do a setup for that. Uh, okay. I think... Uh, I think it was five or eight people dead from eating sea turtle meat in Africa or something oh, oh, at, at a remote okay. island in Africa. I remember. All right, cool. So, so this is Baker Buzz. We'll do that in the, in the four. Yeah, just remember, because I have that session still. Okay. So I could render that and then drag it in there. So that'll take up one spot. Where are we at now? Baker Buzz. Baker Buzz. Okay, I'm doing the uh, happy thing. Uh, where is I got it? one. Hold on. Um, Eric V acts like he's a jerk, but actually he's really caring and considerate, and he goes yep. the extra mile to help others. Absolutely. Darth Vader. Who the hell said that? Be- Darth Vader is just an act. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> Block her. Listen to <laughs> praise and worship uh, when I feel absolutely in a bad mood. that super helps. Block so her. basically, telling my boss to shut the fuck up <laughs> with your negativity <laughs> is not the best route. No, nope, probably not. Stay tuned for the. Uh, the answer on that how to do that hold on hold on real quick trying to get it okay i got it i'm ready i got it here we go well 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 it's a feel good friday we are the baker boys she's Ari rose and she has a baker buzz coming for y'all yes marlon wayans he's never in the news but he is in the news now because apparently he has just fathered a one-year-old girl and every day this is getting juicier and juicier oh man and for the first time in 12 years the u.s is no longer ranked in the world's top 20 happiest country no what happened to the american <laughs> dream guys those baker boys birthdays What's up, party people? The Pink Boys in the building. Oh, we love Reese Witherspoon. Oh, my God. I love her. Yeah, it's her birthday today. What's your favorite movie? You have any favorite movies? Legally Blonde. Me too. Yes. And then what's the other movie the one where she's like a country girl and she falls in love with that hot white guy? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't think remember. About it. He's hot, though. Well, happy birthday to <laughs> Reese Witherspoon. And if it's your birthday, you yes. are special as well. We love Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Nick V, Eric V, the Baker Boys, and Ari Rose in the building. Coming straight ahead in your Baker Buzz, Ari. Well, Marlon Wayans allegedly has a one-year-old daughter, and uh, let me tell you, he is shelling out $18,000 per month. Jeez. All right, and for the first time in 12 years, the happiest place is not Disneyland, and it's not the U.S., evidently. Oh, no. <laughs> so they have fallen below the 20th, 20th, 20th happiest places, 20th happiest countries. We'll talk about it. It's 102 Jam. Hip Hop made. made. Yes, Sweet Home Alabama, Sally. She said walk the line. That is- <laughs> From Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, she was on walk the line. Yeah. It's the Baker Boys Daily. Nick V, Eric V, Ari Rose. It's time for your Baker Buzz. Well, here we go. The annual World Happiness Report reveals that the United States and several Western European countries are experiencing a decline in overall well-being 
due, uh, due uh, to decreasing happiness among younger individuals. So the U.S. has dropped out of the top 20 rankings with a significant decrease of well-being of Americans under 30, while the U.S. ranks higher for those over 60. It ranks lower for those under 30, dragging down the overall score. So hmm. what do you guys think the reason of this is? Well, because it's, it's so yeah. expensive. Yes. <laughs> okay. They're pushing everybody out. There's no jobs. The, people, the kids that are yep. going to college, their degrees are not working anymore. Anymore. Yep. So, hey, where's your American dream? You can't buy a yep. house with said college degree. Let's say you do get a job. And guess what? It said that you need $3.2 million over a lifetime to call yourself happy in America. Right. Ooh, That's right. what the, the, the life of a, a happy person yeah. in America wow. over their lifespan would be. Yeah. Okay, what they're saying is also attributing to everything, like you said, Nick, the economic inequality between generations, political polarization, and the excessive use of social media. I think mm. social media has a lot to do with this. A lot, for sure. 100%. 1,000%. You know? So how do we get back in the top 20? Or will we ever get back in the top 20 as the mm. happiest countries out there, do you think? I don't know. I, I feel like we I, just keep declining. I have an idea. Year. I have an idea. Right. But it might not be a popular idea. How about we take all the resources that we put in all over the world and put them back into America? Okay. Hello? I agree yeah. with this. How, uh, how about the smartest minds need to come from America and not come from other countries? Uh, okay. I love that idea for Hello? sure. Hello? We, we have a lot of bright people right here in America. Uh, we've done a lot in the last 200 years. Mm -hmm. Okay? And there's more that we can do as long as we not outsource our resources and yeah. put them right, right back to right. where we are right here. Cool. Put, we got put water on the seeds that we planted here. Preach. Yeah. Yes. Yes, indeed. So let's All go right. on with Marlon well, Wayans. Marlon Wayans uh, allegedly has a one-year-old daughter and he took a paternity test. It is his daughter. He has admitted Yay, that it's his daughter. Congratulations to him. Yes, but this... <laughs> Nick what? is a classic case of a good, loving, responsible father shelling out over eighteen thousand dollars per month That's a lot. for a one-year-old, okay. and an entitled woman deciding she wants more. More, Jeez. not enough, huh? For that one-year-old. Wow. How about that? What is wow. she, is that kid floating on gold? Yeah. yeah. How much money does a one-year-old need to survive? Not eighteen thousand dollars. Exactly. Well, I feel I'm bad sorry. for him now. Come on, yeah. come on, court. You guys got to do better. You can't allow this woman to come back and say that she needs more for this one-year-old child. Yeah. It does not cost that much money. I, I met Marlon Wayans in person at a at an appointment, a meeting, and um, he's so so nice mm -hmm. and so loving, yeah. like. He's an awesome person, so I hate to see that he's going through something like this because he's so unproblematic. He's never in the news. Right, right. You well, know? there's a lesson in here for Marlon and, for, and a lot of other people out there as well. Wrap it up. Uh, hey, hey, do oh. what you got to do. It's okay, <laughs> you can wrap it up. Hip, hop, the hibbity, the hibbity, oh hip, hip. Oh, my gosh. Hip. <laughs> drop, drop your slap, slap, 102. <laughs> drop, drop your slap, slap, Baker Boys Daily. Peace. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> drop your slap, slap, guys. <laughs> Jeez. I can't. <laughs> All right. I got something here. I know this is SF local. Water. Oh, okay. We're continuing SF the conversation. Local. Uh, which conversation? About clearing the energy. <coughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. It's the Baker Boys Daily. Eric V and Nick V right here. 102 Jams, hip hop made every single day, 6 to 10 a.m. If you don't know, man, make sure to tell a friend. Yeah. So we're talking about negativity and how to get out of that energy yourself and how we get out of that energy um, yeah. and how other people around you can affect you, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, for instance, you know, my wife came to me yesterday. She gave me a phone call. And she was having a bad morning. Uh -huh. And, you know, she called me out. I went to go meet with her. And I just put on my thinking cap, put on my wisdom cap. And I was like, babe, guess what? The situation that has got you to how you're feeling, that's not got to be the observer don't allow those things to pile on top of you because yep. it's just what's happening is what's happening around you and whatever got you into this place is not who you actually are yeah be the observer and also don't forget about gratitude once you start thinking about the things you do have the things right. you are grateful for you woke up this morning you have clean water you wash your face you brush your teeth yeah. guess what not a lot of people have that. not everybody yeah. has that so when it's you start thinking perspective start thinking about gratitude and immediately those things, it kind of pushes out the fear. It pushes out the negativity immediately. Yeah. Right, right. I know I was having a bad day the other day and I was driving and I was getting every single red light and then I forgot my wallet and then I my water, you know, I finished my bottle of water and I was thirsty and I forgot my chaps. And you know, you start going down this rabbit hole and you literally just start noticing everything that's going wrong and I felt myself getting more and more heated, more and more heated and I was just irritated driving. And I immediately, I'm so thankful that I've grown so much in my life where I can literally tell myself, Ari, 
you're going down this rabbit hole, stop. Change yeah. your energy. Yeah. Change your energy. Take Roll down the windows. Put a good song on. Start singing. Do whatever you have to do. And then you immediately change your energy. There you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You so. are the magic, and it happens within you. Everything yeah. that is happening from the outside, that's not you. Yeah, and you can't control it. Okay. Yeah. There it is there. Baker Boys Daily 102 Jam. Hip Hop It's a feel good Friday, baby. <clears throat> SF Local. SF Local. Mm. I guess I can do this since we're kind of talking oh, about this. Oh, I got this. some. Yeah. Oh, go, no, you, go ahead, go ahead. You, you got it's, it? That's fine. All right. Oh, man. It is a Feel Good Friday with the Baker Boys Daily, 102 Jams, Hip Hop Made. Shout out to everybody who is tuned in watching us on our Twitch channel. Big ups to Sally, that girl. And also, we got a new follower. Huh? Uh, he had an interesting name. I got to get it. <laughs> no, his name was interesting. I was like, whoa, that's an interesting name. Let me go back to this over here. You get it. DJ Raptor Soldier. Hey, now. Oh. Yeah, that's a, that's an interesting <laughs> name, right? <laughs> All right, so Raptor Soldier, if you're out there driving in San Francisco and you're going above the speed limit, guess what? What? You're going to be getting fined. Okay. What? You are going to be getting fined. They are coming to San Francisco. These are speed cameras. Yeah, they, they've been talking about this for a while. Mm. All right, if you're going 11 miles per hour over the speed limit, Jeez. $50. What? Oh 16 God. miles, $100. <laughs> 26 miles over the speed limit, $200. So for the first wow. month or first 60 days, they're going to be sending everybody warnings. Uh, if you have been, you know, speeding and they catch you. Yeah. Oh. But guess what? You're going to be getting bills. And, and uh, they said something also about where the money is going to be going. It's going to be different than all the parking tickets and all the things well, like well, that. Where is it going? Did it's going say? directly to the city. Or I, I got to look deeper well, into the Well, let's story. hope they do the potholes. Right? <laughs> With all that money. All this money and potholes they ne- everywhere. They never fix the potholes. Never. No never. matter where you're at. Yeah. It's coming to San Jose. It's going to Los Angeles. It's going to uh, Long Beach and Oakland. It's just a way for oh, them to make okay. more money, More dude. money. That's right. all it is. And you know how fast people like to drive out here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> it's one or two jams hip hop made. Y'all going to be paying. <laughs> what up, Yo B? You okay, mama? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Can you turn yeah. off the air? Is it? Maybe. Turn off the air my for allergies a bit. have been so bad after this um wind. Like even my eyes. Yeah. <coughs> you, you don't take anything? I do. I take Claritin D. Mm. <coughs> it's been so bad this year though. Where you at, Nick? Hour number four. Um <coughs> I got a what I got a what you have to do. Well you could tease that that okay. that one. You said you had the uh I have another one. Okay. We could do yeah. that one for Monday. This one's better actually. All right. All right. Here, here we go. Terrible. It's the Baker Boys Daily on a Feel Good Friday. Later on in the show, Mouth Love is coming for you. Oh, man. And coming up, we got a What the F News. This is crazy, guys. A student persuaded by friend to amputate legs for a $1.3 million insurance scam. (gasps) Yes. What? (laughs) (laughs) Terrible. It's What the F News coming up next, y'all. You seen that, Sally? That was wild, bro. What the fruit? <laughs> <laughs> what the f- What the f- What the f- My oh my. It's the Baker Boys Daily, number one. It's a feel good Friday, but this is a terrible what the F news And story. a terrible yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah. Well, first of all, <laughs> first and foremost, when I go into social media, I see these crazy stories like this. I mark them for our show. And this one specifically has 249,164 likes. Why are people liking this story? <laughs> That's my question when I see these crazy well, stories. Well, you liked it enough to save it. I, I saved it for a so show. So you're one of those it's, likers. It's not that I liked it. Did you like it? Let me see. Did I liked like it, it to shave. Oh, no, yeah, didn't I didn't like, like it. it. Okay. All right, so student persuaded by his friend to amputate his legs for a $1.3 million insurance wow. scam. All right, this is coming from Taiwan. All right, so he had his legs amputated to try to get the $1.3 million insurance Wait, payout. Wait, two legs or one leg? Two. Two legs. Oh, my Both of his legs. God. According to the investigators, his friend encouraged him <laughs> to immerse him his feet in a bucket of dry ice Whoa. for 10 hours Whoa. in order to, deliver, to deliberately get fo- frostbite. Deliberately get frostbite. Yeah. Wait. And so, wait. So, they found out that they had done it on purpose so he didn't get the money? However, the scheme failed when a medical personnel found his injuries to be suspicious suspicious in nature. Well, are you sure they didn't live stream it and yeah. let everybody know what they're doing? Right. <laughs> right. I would so, never... he did not get 1.3. So, he lost his legs and he didn't get no money. Lost his legs, got no money, that... and probably will be arrested for something. Are you sure this isn't the dummy of the day? That's dummy no. of the year. No, no, no. That's, That's <laughs> dummy of the year. That's what that is. I mean, how drunk did you have to be to let your friend talk you into getting your legs cut off? 
Have well, you ever had Taiwanese beer? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, guess, I, guess, I guess not. Have and, you ever smoked chocolate Thai? And, that, <laughs> and, and that's your what the F news. And that's your what the F news, people. Jeez. Oh, boy. What uh, up, Lid Dad? Two SF locals, guys. Drugged Mickey. Ooh. Okay, I got a, a, just a conversation. It's a feel good Friday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose, 102 Jams, Hip Hop Made. Made. Your favorite new morning show is here for you. Whoop, whoop. Hey, you guys are 70s babies. Right? Sure, yeah. Uh, Eric, 69. I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm before. I'm, in late, I'm late 60s. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. We took it way back. Way back. <laughs> well, do you guys remember the trend in the 70s that uh, having a pet rock? Oh, I do remember that. Do you? No. Did you have a pet rock? I'd never had a pet rock, but I remember the chia pet as well. Yeah, chia pet. Oh, chia pet. I for remember sure. chia, 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 chia. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyways, uh, the pet rock is coming back, what? guys. Oh, guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, at the height of its popularity, Americans bought one million pet rocks per year for personal companionship. Come on, though. Uh, yes, in the 70s. That was, you know, you remember that. The big well, thing. it's gaining ground again. <laughs> Back to nature. And people are dressing their rocks, bringing them to events, and talk through problems with <laughs> nah, their bro. pet rock. <laughs> no. All right, hold on. Let's not let's not throw it out. What if there's a rock that has the face of the rock? Listen. The actual the wrestler guy. And the uh, oh, God. <laughs> what? He wants to, he wants to make rocks look like the rock. Yeah. Then you have okay. a, a the different pair. Okay. Yeah. That that's kind of <laughs> right? Would you like one of those? No, I don't want one. Well, I will not take one with me anyway. Well, uh Lee Ho C, 30-year-old office worker says I occasionally I occasionally complain to my rock about what a tiresome day I had at work. In some ways, it can feel relaxing like talking to your dog. Okay. Well, yeah, cuz they don't talk back both of them. <laughs> Yeah, they listen, and they don't say anything, and this? they're just there to listen. Okay, well, so, hold on, hold on. This could be, listen, I'm, I'm, a tree is alive, all right? Mother Earth is alive. Yeah. That rock, those are molecules. It's listening. It's, it's alive, okay? That's a piece of Mother Earth right there. So this reminds me of um, last year. So my daughter's super creative and just, she's hilarious, right? Okay. She ends up going... Um, so she wanted to get my boyfriend something, and she's one of those people that gets something very meaningful. Okay. But my daughter has a very unique personality. She's hilarious, right? Mm -hmm. And so we go walking down the neighborhood, and she took a rock, and she put eyeballs on it, drew a mouth to make it a vampire rock. Nice. Oh, wow. And gifted it to my boyfriend. Okay. And the funniest thing is the rock that she took, we didn't realize until we got home. When uh -oh. you flipped it upside down, it said, be happy. Oh. But the Y was missing. Oh, so she stole somebody else's rock. Uh, she must have, right? <laughs> but here's the thing. She was like, when he flipped it over, she goes, that's for you to figure out your why that makes you happy in life. Right. Nice. How good. That and was it was cute. like so cute. But uh, that's what this story reminded me of because like she literally got him a pet rock. For oh, his that's birthday. very sweet. It's very so cute. Thoughtful. Yes. Does yeah. he have the rock now? Yes. I can't wait to meet the rock. <laughs> <laughs> I got to bring it in. I'm going to bring the pet rock in. Oh Please do. We want to have a conversation with that right. rock. Right. <laughs> 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 one or two jams. Hip hop made. Right. What up, Sabi D? Thank you for the gifted subs. Yay. Two of them. You'll be the DJ and also DJ Kachi. Both of them got the uh, gifted subs. Just another break, local. Yes, yeah. All right, I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna follow up with this right here, venting. Good morning, Bay Area. It's a Feel Good Friday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose. One or two jams, hip hop made. So earlier, Ari was talking about the uh, her daughter gifted her boyfriend a, pe a new pet rock. A pet that, rock, basically now. So people love to vent to their animals, to their friends, or whatever. Right now, but right. does venting actually make you feel better? Yes. It does. Yeah. Research shows it's not really reducing rage, though. <laughs> An analysis of more than 150 studies find venting does not help us feel less angry because it increases psychological arousal, increasing heart rate, blood pressure, yeah. muscle tension. I can see that. And they said you should actually do other things to make you get calm instead of venting to other people, which could make you feel calmer, like deep breathing. Yes. Meditation. Uh -huh. Yes. Yoga. Yeah. And even counting to 10. Yeah. yeah. Or even taking a walk. Walking helps a yeah. lot. So there you go. Get in oh. nature. Best thing yep. to do is get in nature. I just read okay. a story that... Let's talk about nature real quick. Oh, okay. okay. Yesterday, I went golfing. Yeah. I haven't <laughs> golfed in two years. Boy, oh boy, it kicked my ass because I was tired by the fifth hole. You're Because you're out of shape. Because uh, I'm supposed to, like, 
we're going to go golfing 18 holes. And no, I was exhausted. I got home. I slept all night. It was like 11 o'clock before. I got home at 3 in the afternoon. I woke up at like 11 o'clock. Oh, my PM. gosh. So did you check your steps? I was. I, I didn't have my, my, my actual phone was in the cart. Oh, okay. Oh. But still, a lot of the walking, I was so tired. So being in nature doesn't work for me. Are, you, are your legs sore today? No, my legs ain't sore, but oh. my his, arm is messed up. His soul is sore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, coming up, we got that mouth love. Of course, Nick B's going to be dropping it for a Feel Good Friday. 102 Jams. Hip Hop Made. made baby. Go ahead. Where we at? Mouth love. Okay. It's a Feel Good Friday party, people, with the Baker Boys Daily. Hey, man, it's that time. Yes, indeed, the weekend is here. Uh, just in time because the uh, the movie with the uh, devil's out right now. So oh, the late, one you want to go see? Late Night with the Devil, yes. <laughs> oh. So I'm going to go see that. That scary, this scary one? Yes, I'm oh. going to see it. Come with me. No. All right, coming up, Nick V's dropping that mouth love up next. Hold on, y'all. 102 Jams. Hip Hop, Hip -hop made. made. Come on. Baker Boys Daily. Time to change the energy in the room, party people. It is time for that mouth love. Nick V writes these affirmations for all of us to learn and listen from, listen to. So let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please take a deep breath in. Here we go. Even you. One more. You skipped it. Take another deep breath in. There you go. What we're trying to do here is even out the molecules. We want to give you guys an even playing field here. Think about these things, say these things out loud with us, and we're going to change your life one word at a time. Here we go. We allow all grace to guide us. We allow, we allow all, all grace, grace to, to guide us. us. We embrace the unknown with faith. We, we embrace the unknown, unknown with, with faith. faith. We acknowledge our greatness. We acknowledge our greatness. We are one. We, we are, are one. one. That means I am you, you are me, we are us. So when you see somebody out there that is going through a tough time, I was walking through Disneyland the other day, and I saw this one 16, I'm a yeah, teenage girl. She's a tween or something like that. Yeah. Everybody else is happy in the entire place. This one girl is sitting with her head down and sad. Uh -huh. I felt her sadness. Right. Aww. You know? Yeah. And yeah. It, it's bringing me you know, emotional right now. Yeah. Just thinking about it. Mm -hmm. So like I say, we are one. I really mean yeah. that. Yeah. So when you see somebody out there that needs a helping hand, that's you right there. Help that person yeah. like that's your mom, your dad, your uncle, your niece, your brother, your sister, yourself. Yeah. I we're, agree. We're all part of the human race, guys. No matter what color, creed, uh, background. Language. Uh, uh, yeah. Political political preference, sexual preference, whatever. You know, we all come in the same way. We yeah, all go out the same way. we're all human beings. That's it. Right. Thank you for that mouth love, Nick B. You're welcome. We'll catch you on Manifest Monday right here yes. for the Baker Boys Daily. Peace. Promo, promo. You got happy? You did the happy thing? Yeah, I'll just do that for... That's fine. I have... You did Beyonce's... Oh, no, no we got to do... No, no, I have the words. Regular. The happiness. Oh, Sabi D with a thousand fits. Hey, Sabi, thank, thank you. you. Boys with your daily fix of fun. <laughs> it is a Feel Good Friday. We are the Baker Boys and Nick V. That's me. I'm going to be dropping that mouth love, positive affirmations that you need in your life today. And I'll be adding some phrases that are meant to be uplifting but can sound downright annoying. And oh. for the first time in the past 12 years, the U.S. is no longer ranked in the world's top 20 happiest countries. Oh, boy. Boys, with your daily fix of fun. It's the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the morning time. 102 Jams Hip Hop made your favorite new morning show. And guess what? I have mouth love coming up for you because it's a feel good That's Friday. Right. Yes. And speaking of positive affirmations, I have some phrases that are meant to be uplifting but can sound downright annoying. The U.S. is no longer ranked in the world's top 20 happiest countries. So where are we moving next, guys? Uh, <laughs> Costa Rica. <laughs> Pura Vida, baby. All right. That's that. I think Eric V has to turn it back on. What are you talking about? Uh, where did the points? Go? Oh, oh, they're not on. They should be. Oh, you know what? You're right. Hold on. Give me a second, guys. Yeah. I'll turn them back on because when I go do the show from home, I can't run the uh, redemptions. redemptions. Yes. Oh, Nick V even remembered the redemption name. Wow. Yeah, because I'm alcohol free. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> my hair, my head is a little clearer here. Wow. Break one. All right. I'll turn them on right now, guys. No. Redemptions, redemptions. Here we go. And boom, they are on now. Go ahead. Have, have at it. Try it. Try one. All right, next, Baker Buzz. Yeah, I returned all the points now. Should be good now. <coughs> yeah? No? Let's 
Let's see here. Let me see. Hold on. Let me double check. It's not working. Hold on. Hold on. Jeez. <laughs> They're excited. I know. Sally's over here having a fit. She wants to get her shit. Hold on. I have to manage them individually. Okay. These are the wrong ones. That's why. Because I'm trying to do where I could do it from home. Nope. Billy's gone. More fire. Turn off these. <laughs> Oh, now I just confused the shit out of myself with this. <coughs> All right, try it now. <laughs> Eric V, you got an email from DJ Asia. I got an email? Yeah. Oh, was it a drop? Good vibes only. Oh, God. <laughs> Probably one of my pictures or something. She always does that. <laughs> DJ E-Man says, I wish I had a smaller wedding. We had 531 people at ours. Oh, E-Man? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> 531? That's a lot of fucking Son people, bro. Bitch. What the fuck? How do you know that many people? I, and you, how do you see them all? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's nuts. All right, so we're good now, right, guys? Am I on your good graces? <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Baker Buzz. All right. Uh, Got one? Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me go over here. Um, All right. Damn, there's something I want. I have so many ones with sound bites. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do an upg update to this. Uh, MGM denies having <laughs> owing owing Bruno Mars money. You mean other or, way around? Yeah, I mean, oh. MGM denies Bruno Mars owes them fifty million. Okay, let's get. So I'm gonna it. do an upgrade update on that. It's manifest Monday. Two, five, well, 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 we made it through another amazing weekend, and now it's Manifest Monday where the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building coming up in your Baker Buzz. So Ben Affleck and Matt Damon have been friends for a long time, and apparently they shared a bank account when they were teenagers in the 80s. I heard, I heard about this. I heard yeah. about this. They, they were surviving off each other's decks. That's yep. cool. So MGM denies Bruno Mars owes them $50 million. Whoa. We'll get into it. We'll talk about it in the Baker Buzz, guys. It's the, uh, Baker, it's the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building for a Manifest Monday. You guys might like this. International Waffle Day. Ooh, I'm in. Ooh, yum. Uh, I'm in. Not right now, yum, though. Yum, 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 yum. I'm, I'm on a diet. You are? It's not helping. But I want to check in with your diet a little bit later. Yeah. Hold on. Baker Boys Daily. Thank you, Sally. Thank you. Uh, good to see you here as well. Hello, it's the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building for a Manifest Monday. Coming straight ahead in your Baker Buzz. Ben Affleck and Matt Damon shared bank accounts when they were teenagers to survive. I got all the, I got all the gossip on that coming up. <laughs> and we were talking about uh, Bruno Mars owing $50 million to MGM. Evidently, a MGM Resorts International representative stated that Bruno Mars doesn't have a $50 million get, uh, gambling it's debt. It's probably $49 million, I bet right. you. I don't know. <laughs> we'll talk about it in the Baker Buzz coming up. 102 Jam. Hip Hop, Hip -hop made. made. Attention, it's the Baker Buzz. From Hollywood and beyond. We specifically said no care. Happy Manifest Monday, ladies and gentlemen. Think about what you want in your life today and manifest that. Write it down as a matter of yes. fact. Yes. All right, let's go with the Baker Buzz, though. All right, so Ben Affleck and Matt Damon, we know that they're great friends. Yeah. I didn't realize how great of friends like they've been their whole lives. They're like blood, brother, blood brothers almost. Yeah. <laughs> so both of them, when they were teenagers, had big dreams of making it big in Hollywood. And so in a recent podcast, they revealed that they decided to share a bank account when yep. they were teenagers in the late 80s. Okay. So according to the podcast, they used the money in their shared account for auditions and trips to New York. They believed that as long as one of them had money, they wouldn't have to worry about their power getting shut off. Wow. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so after Damon landed a role in 93, he had about 35000 in his checking account, and he told Affleck, we're good. We got this. Yeah. yeah. That is so cool. I like that. If there's anybody in your life that you feel comfortable enough doing that with, let's take yourself back to your teenagers. Yep. Who would you do that with? With my best friend, Michelle. Nice. Michelle Picard. Yay. Yeah, she lives in Vegas now. Uh, she's been my friend since we were two years old. There's actually photos Aww. of us in the tub together. Her grandmother used to watch me. She lived across the street. Wow. And uh, to this day, she calls my mom, mom and dad. I call her mom, mom and dad, you know, and that's nice. Yeah. We're, we've been friends for what? 40 years. Wow. Yeah. That's good news. Shout yeah. out to Michelle. Yeah. Would well, anybody share a bank account with Bruno Mars? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> probably. I would. Yeah. I'll share. 
bank ah. account with them. All right. So anyway, an MGM Resorts International representative stated that Bruno Mars does not does not have a fifty million dollar gambling Yay. debt with them. Good he said, for him. Yeah. Well, we reported the news last week that basically somebody said that MGM owned him basically yeah. all this money right. and all that stuff. So uh, we're proud of our relationship with Bruno Mars, one of the most thrilling dynamic performers from his shows to the Dolby Park at the Park MGM and his newly uh, founded Pinky Ring Lounge in Bellagio. Hey, Bruno's bitch. brand of entertainment attracts visitors from around the globe. So MGM and Bruno's partnership is longstanding and rooted in mutual respect. Okay. Any so- speculation otherwise is completely false. He has no debt with MGM. Oh, fake news, huh? Mm. That's what it is. Was that I guess. written by AI, maybe? Oh. Putting out false accusations oh. against Bruno Mars? Well, let's blame it on somebody. And we, <laughs> right. how about we gotta take some responsibility too because Why we run with it. <laughs> <laughs> we did take responsibility because I'm telling what they're saying now. So, so. We, you're yeah. retracting what we said last week, dude. Yeah. Hey, All we right. were just sharing news. I could have not shared it, but I did because I felt bad <laughs> about it. You're a good guy, Eric Well, listen, King. one of our uh, listeners, Savvy D, is staying at the MGM this weekend hey. and is going to have to investigate this. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. <laughs> Say what's up to Bruno for us. Baker Boys <laughs> Daily. And there's your Baker Buzz. We do it twice a day. And guess who else is going to be extending their residency in Las Vegas? Who? Who? Gaga. Lady Gaga. Mm. We'll tell you more coming up in the next Baker Buzz. Two SF locals. Oh, let's check in with your diet, Eric V, please. Yeah. I really don't want to check in with that right now. Come on. Let's do it. No. All right. Well, I'm disgusted. Okay. All right. Fine. I'll, I'll, I'll just. I'll, I'll check in with my. No, my... that's fine. If you want to. Nick V and Eric V and Ari Rose in the morning time. It's 102 Jams. Hip hop made your favorite new morning show. The two fat Mexicans and one thick fit Mexican. <laughs> right? Uh, yes. Is that, is that cool? Thick fit. I uh, love right, that. So I've been on a diet for about two weeks How's now. How's it going? It's terrible. It's God awful. <laughs> so I did it again. I jumped on the scale thinking to see at least a, a pound or two. I don't care. Just let me lose a pound or two. I need to see some positivity, okay? <laughs> I actually weighed the same. I cut out all sodas. I cut out all bread. I cut out pretty much all pasta. I ate some pasta the other day, but it's like it was like 590 calories. My calories have been cut in half, and still nothing is changing, and I'm very upset about it. Or what is there anything else? That, are you taking any kind of supplements? No. Is there tea? No. Are you doing any extra walking that you haven't done before? No. You should try that. No, my diet will be enough. I've I've lost weight like that before. But okay. right now, it's just not happening. Well, you, so. well your, your body is aging. And also, you're not going to be able to do the same things you used to do 10 yeah. years ago. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I know Even that. myself at 42 years old, like, my, I don't drop any pounds the way I used to. I yes. mean, it's different. Your metabolism, metabolism. slows us down. Yeah. Your Everything's slowing down. <laughs> yeah. Everything is Every, slowing so down. So that means you got to speed it up on the yeah. activity. Because you, if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. I'm just saying, Eric V, one time around the block a day. Why? Yeah. When the sun is going down, just go around the walk around the block. <laughs> Why? I'm just, just try it. Just add some steps to your life. One day, one time around the block a day is not going to make a difference. Twice yes, a day, it, it is not going to make a difference. Try it. I promise you. It's okay, not go make one a time a day, twice around the block. Then. No, I'm not doing one time a day one at all. Oh God. No. All right. Well, I'm just changing my diet. That's it. And, so. that, and you'd want the results like that. Anyway, guys, All I told right. you I didn't want to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> 22 jabs in. All right. You start, I guess. Have gratitude. Losing weight is a choice. I <laughs> use that. It is 102 Jams Hip Hop Made on a Manifest Monday. It's the Baker Boys. Hope you guys had a great and safe weekend. Okay, so we talked about your diet earlier. You're not mm-hmm. happy with it because you're not losing any weight. No. Okay, so me and my lovely wife have decided to go dry, as we talked about yeah. Yeah. earlier in the week. Uh, we're not drinking any alcohol. Right. As a matter of fact, we were invited to a birthday celebration and kind of like a going away party last night. Yeah. It was at a bar, obviously. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we did not drink. Woo! Well, we, yeah. Thank you very much. It's going very well, by the way. So what we have been doing is we've been replacing those urges to do those things and getting out into nature. We went uh, to a a park and we walked around the lake. Oh, I love that. We got some food. We -hmm. we took it to the park. And halfway, we sat down underneath a beautiful shaded tree in Mother Nature, ate our food. We got up and walked back to our car. You know what? Like, I don't even drink that much, but I notice when I don't drink... 
and I go through weeks of not drinking, my clarity, my focus, my energy. Yeah, it changes. It's so crazy how much it changes. And I think, you know, there's a misconception of, well, it's just one glass of wine a night or it's just two. And I, you know, or I can, it's not even about that. It's like detoxifying your body and just getting that out of your system completely. Yep regenerates it it's like your whole body your spirit your mind it's completely different the way you sleep yeah for sure everything is so different not to mention the amount of uh, brain cells alcohol actually kills as well yeah right yeah and the damage yeah. it does to your innards you know I mean, your inside all of that all of that it's got to filter all of this alcohol out yeah. yeah all right well we're feeling better and we hope you guys can do something like that for yourself just uh take a walk go into nature yeah all right breathe the fresh air out there it's one or two jams hip-hop, hip-hop made, made. Getting a walking pad and getting on it when you're playing your games. (laughs) Think about as you said? Uh, No. Hour two. Tell me the day, what the F news. Uh, Oh, I got a what the F news. Okay. All right. So we'll go with that then. And then I got something for the next one. It's one of... It's the Baker Boys Daily along with Ari Rose. But Ari, you say you have a what the F news for the people. Do, do I? So there's like a big chain called Sheen. It's Uh kind of like a Fashion Nova type, you know? Okay. Just for you listeners, I don't know what Sheen is. Yeah. Well, a customer claims a blood vial was found in her Sheen package. Oh, hell no. Oh, (laughs) yeah. Insane. Oh, that's right. That's what's up, Frank Data. 14 months alcohol free. There you go, brother. What the what? It's Nick V and Eric V, the Baker Boys Daily, along with Ari Rose, and she is turning in a What the F News. Man, so a Sheen customer took to TikTok to shed light on a perplexing delivery she received, which included a glass vial of human blood. I wonder where that was coming from. Alongside her dress order. (laughs) Oh, my God. Anne Marie documented her bewildering experience in a series of TikToks that qu- quickly went viral, yeah. amassing over 7.5 million views. Along with the vial, her package mysteriously contained a can of Goya beans, <laughs> prompting questions about the items that ended up in her shipment. Wow, it's probably supposed to go somewhere uh, to an actress in Hollywood. Oh, man, oh, come on. Oh, my God. Nigga, chill. I mean... <laughs> How crazy is that, that a blood vial was found in a person's package? I would have it tested. I would straight up have it tested. 100%. And, and yeah. uh, I would call the authorities. I would let people know that there's something going on. Whose blood is this? Okay, and why is it coming from this place right here? Do some backtracking, because I promise you that this company is uh, is doing some undercover ugly stuff and if they're literally come on man that's dangerous right i there. mean human blood is classified as a biohazard yeah. due to its potential because it can like uh transmit diseases like hiv hepatitis b c all this stuff yeah um so you know i don't know but they didn't find out how it ended up there so this is going to be an interesting story to kind of see how it unveils. all right, all right. Well, i have my theories but i'm not going to get into them on the radio yeah Baker nope. boys daily <laughs> <laughs> All right, so speaking of that. I, I got a suspicious fluid with my what Baker Boy say? shirt. What? No, you didn't. I'll tell you. Stop lying. Sabi D. Never I uh, doing story. life insurance policies at work. Oh, okay. Sounds like Santeria to me. <laughs> what are you saying, Nick? I posted something on our story. Um, the Hollywood sign. Did you guys see this? No. All right, hold on. First and foremost, you already, you guys know how I, what I think about adrenochrome and all that stuff. Do you don't know? No. Probably. Mm-mm. Yeah, I, I know. Children's blood. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. For yes, sale. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Cool. You know what the Hollywood sign is? Oh. Okay. Yes. Here's the Hollywood sign. There's a drop of blood, right there. What? Yeah. They fucking posted a, a drop it's of blood. With a blood drop. And people still think it's a conspiracy. They rub it in our faces, literally. What do you mean there's a drop of blood? They, they put a, a thing up there, a drop of blood, like a... Uh, oh. Oh. What the heck? Yeah, somebody probably just put it up there. Okay. They just they just want to have people talking about it. Okay. Yeah, they want people to know about that. <clears throat> All right, so... Well, what about the 2,000 kids that go missing at Disneyland every year? Ooh. You know? What about that? Nobody's talking about that. <laughs> 2,000 kids go missing every Yes. Day? All right. Yeah. What? Uh, you said you have something else right here? Yeah, I got something right here. Is it a Disney story? No, it's not. Baker Boys Daily on a Manifest Monday. What's going on, Eric? Well, if your sex life seems to be a little boring, it might be as easy as walking to your kitchen. 
Yes. Yeah. What? We're, we're going to talk about some kitchen items that can add some spice to your sex life. Oh. Literally. Yes. Some gonna, Cholula? Yeah, we're going <laughs> to see which one of these Ari's might, Ari might use. <laughs> 102 Jams. Hip Hop Made. Latinita. Welcome back to the Baker Boys Daily. Nick V and Eric V and Ari Rose in the building for a Manifest Monday. Yeah, well, if things are getting a little boring in the bedroom, now you can just walk to your kitchen and get some of these items and maybe spice up your love life a little bit. Okay. So we're going to find out which one of these Ari may use or which one of these Nick may use. Hey. Because Nick is a freak. I am. 100%. He's my brother. I love him, but I'm sure he's tried everything on this list right here. Wow. So plastic wrap. Hold, no. on. This, hold on, this thing is fucking popping. I gotta, I gotta fix this headset or else okay. it's gonna pop on the show. Plastic wrap. If you're interested in trying some light bondage, plastic wrap can do the trick. That's, light bondage. That's yes. ghetto. It's, <laughs> it's inexpensive, it's stretchy, it's sticky, and it's effective. All oh right. my gosh. Candle wax. All right, can open up a world of new sensations. Hey now. So there you go. A pastry brush. Oh, it's not okay. just it's yeah. not just for baking. It's like a feather. <laughs> you can use it to apply massage oil, lube, or lightly brush your partner's skin With for butter. a for a tickling sensation, if you will. <laughs> okay, this can I use a peacock feather in my bathroom? <laughs> if, if you want to. So we're talking about items in your kitchen that you can use in your sex life. Okay. Turkey baster. This is the one that got me. Hey. An effective what? Tool, <laughs> an effective tool that can be used to seduce uh, seductively drip wax, oil, or lotions on your partner. Uh-huh. So you just fill it full of uh, stuff in there. Okay. All right, chocolate and caramel sauce. Ooh. All right, of course, you can play with your food in other ways in s- sex acts. Okay, ice cubes. Temperature play is good for massages, kisses, and other activities, including mouse. Ice cubes. All right, All right. wooden spoon. Whoa. If you like to be spanked or want to do the spanking, <laughs> wooden spoon is your answer. Wow. This one's a little weird for me. Okay. We're talking about items you can use from your kitchen to involve in your sex life, okay? Pizza cutter. A pizza cutter. <laughs> That's I, dangerous. I, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> it says you need you need to be careful here, but lightly rolling a pizza cutter over skin can result in sexy sensations. I can see that happening because a pizza cutter is not sharp. Well, it depends on what you, what kind you have. Okay. If you have a plastic one or a metal one. I have a ghetto one. Okay, so <laughs> just don't be an idiot and press it too hard. I'm over here quiet because I'm like in the bedroom right now. <laughs> in the so middle of lovemaking, what, thinking about this pizza cutter. Where would I put it? <laughs> <laughs> Which one would you venture out on, Ari Rose? Plastic wrap, candle wax, pastry brush, turkey baster, chocolate caramel sauce, ice cubes, wooden spoon, or pizza cutter? I mean, I would say ice cubes. Ice cubes, okay. I'm going to keep it very, like, That's uh, an easy tradition. one. Yeah. But there's not much in there that I won't try. Uh, I already knew this. <laughs> would, you, would you do the saran wrap? No, that one, I, I don't. I can't see my body in a saran wrap. <laughs> Oh, wow. And I love my Wait, wife too much. Your wife is going to wrap you like a chorizo. Yeah. I love my wife too much to let her visualize that as well. You can't see it and she can't unsee it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is Baker Boys Daily, y'all. All right, two SF locals. Oh, shit. I stuffed my turkey good this year. Whoa. Okay. Um. Hmm. You got some? Um, yeah. It's 102 Jams, Hip Hop Made. It's the Baker Boys in the morning, along with Ari Rose. All right, what do you guys, uh, how do you sleep anyway? Oh, I on, sleep with on my, my side. Closed. No, my, fool. On my side. <laughs> on your side, you sleep on your side, Ari? I sleep on my side. Um, Yeah, I think I, not on my stomach, but I sleep side, back. Slide, side and back? Yeah. You just switch back and forth? Yeah. So I think I sleep on my side and on my stomach. Okay, so people who sleep on their stomachs are more prone to various health issues. Oh. oh. One of the biggest complaints among people who sleep in their front is their lower back pain. Sleeping on your stomach could even lead to more facial wrinkles. Do I look, do I have my facial wrinkles on today? I <laughs> no. Sleep, yeah, that's when you know I slept on my stomach or my side. Yeah. So you guys say side. side. I go side. side. I go side, side to side like a lower runner. Go like, back and forth. Like a what? <laughs> like a lowrider. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
All right. I, I can't sleep well, on, on my back or my stomach. Stomach, really? definitely no. And no fetal position either. So We're looking nope. for a solution, like a, 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 a pillow solution, because my wife has tremendous pain on her shoulders because mm. she sleeps on her side. She goes back and forth. Yeah. And then her hip starts hurting. So Well, they have those long oh. pillows that go between your legs. Yeah. yeah. I always put a pillow between my legs. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're looking for a solution. Anybody else All out right. there, help us out here. One or two jams. Hip hop made. I got something. SF local. 102 Jams, Hip Hop Made, Baker Boys, and Ari Rose in the building for a Man of His Monday. Real question for you guys. How many times a day do you brush your teeth? Two. Once. Two times. I at least brush my teeth two times a day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Usually, obviously, when I wake up in the morning and then if I after a meal or if I eat a meal or after dinner or whatever, before I'm going to sleep, whatever. Nice. So a nurse, a new survey reveals that 92% of Americans believe their oral care routine is important for their overall health, which yeah. I agree, yes, right? It's very Hygiene important. habits are very important, people. That's because people admit to forgetting to brush their teeth five times a week a and week? skipping out on no. flossing. No. no. Oh. And and mouthwash four times a week. So, what do you Wait, think about this? What nasty, nasty. people forget to brush their teeth? Well, and you can tell which ones they are when they get close to you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I think I probably forget to brush my teeth like once a year. Okay. Like Good it'll be you. like an honest, you know, like I'll wake up sometimes and get. Maybe like I went and got a cup of coffee uh -huh. and then, you know, I'm doing my makeup, get into some phone calls and I've walked out the door. Yeah, but I'm yeah. talking like it's very, very, rare. very, very rare, wow. like maybe twice a year. And that's like a lot. That's pushing it. Yeah. Yeah. But I have to brush my teeth in the morning and I brush my teeth at night. Okay. Now, flossing is a little different. I floss every day. Do you? Yeah, I do. I have wow. to because every time I eat, like food gets trapped and I have to. Yeah. I'm constantly flossing. I'm pretty. I'm not pretty bad at flossing, but I I do forget to floss sometimes. I floss like every other day. I like think. I floss so much that when I do laundry, I find the floss, the little picker in my in my pants <laughs> all the time. That do little, you floss, Nick? Yeah, I floss but every not, day. Not as much as you guys know. You know, you know, you know that little pocket on the right side of yeah, your the, jeans, the coin pocket. Mm. Yes, <laughs> that's what I use for my flossy wow. pants. Your flossy pocket. Yes, your flossy pocket. <laughs> So if you want to know what to get Eric V for Christmas, yeah, buy me floss. a bunch of them. Buy, buy him some flossers. There's certain ones that I like. So. All right, which one's your favorite? Mm. Uh, it's made by Gum. G U M. G U M. Mm. So, yeah, okay, they're, well they're now like we green. know. Now we know it's going to be in your little stocking for. It, it, it's Christmas. like extra strong floss. Oh. There it is, right For there. your strong teeth. For yes. strong gums. <laughs> <laughs> one or two jams. Hip hop, hip -hop made. made. Hour number three. Baker Buzz. Hour number three. Lady Gaga. Yeah. Um, did you have anything? I have one. Okay. If you don't, I have one too. I'll uh, find one. You got one. Tell me when. Oh, you got it. <laughs> okay, I'll start. What to do, party people? It's a Manifest Monday along with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose coming up in this hour's Baker Buzz, hour number three. Let's get it. So Boozy is expressing his frustration with Planet Fitness after allowing transgender women in women's locker rooms. Oh, boy. This is a hot topic right there. Yep. <laughs> Lady Gaga has announced on Instagram an extension of her jazz and piano Woo! Las Vegas residency. I love Gaga. I okay. can't wait to go. I want to go. I got to take my wife. Back to the music. With Baby, let's go. Vegas. Let's go see Lady Gaga. Uh, birthday, national days. All right, you got it. No, it's an, it's birthday. I got it. All right. It's the Baker Boys, your favorite daily show, along with Ari Rose. We got to say very happy birthday going to Mr. Big Sean. Oh, oh wow! Big Sean. From Detroit, Detroit rapper. Everything mm -hmm. he does is big. <laughs> Do you think he regrets not being with Ariana Grande anymore? I don't, I, probably not. She would have dumped him anyway. You know what's crazy? Not too long ago, people were calling him out about his rhymes online. They were calling his some of his rhymes really uh, the corniest rhymes that he ever had. <laughs> I felt bad for him. Damn. Happy birthday, homie. <laughs> we just like just <laughs> ran into the ringer. Baker Boys Daily, Nick V, Eric V, Ari Rose coming straight ahead and Baker Buzz. We got some Lady Gaga news for the jazz residency in Vegas. Mm. And Boozy's expressing his frustration with Planet Fitness after they allowed a transgender woman in the woman's locker room. Oh, oh boy. boy. Yeah. 102 Jams. Hip Hop, Hip -hop made. made. Baker Buzz. From Hollywood and beyond. We specifically said no 
Yes, indeed. It's the Baker Boys Daily. Thank you for tuning in. It is time for your Baker Buzz. And let's talk about Lady Gaga extending her Las Vegas residency. Yeah, uh, going all the way into the summer for 2024. The Grammy winner will perform eight more shows in oh. June and July at the Dolby Live Theater. Okay. Featuring jazz standards as well as some of her hits. Pre-sale tickets started today, 2 p.m. at General Sales on Saturday at 10 a.m. So go and get those tickets. I got to find out how much they're going to cost me. Yeah, right. See if they do PayPal and four. I love Gaga. She and she, yeah, she's dope, man. She's so talented. Do you know uh, a story of Gaga when uh, she used to go out uh, to play piano, uh, like in the middle, like in the public? But she had all her clothes on, but no one to pay attention to her. And then she started getting undressed, and she started taking more and more clothes off. And then she had all the crowd. The crowd. And that's what showed her that look, it, it doesn't matter what I'm doing as long as I'm a spectacle and they can sexualize me. Yep. That they're gonna love me. Yeah. And look how far she's come. She doesn't have to wear meat uh, anymore. She doesn't no. have to come out yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a, a real standard in American music now. Right, right. Because yeah, she used to be very, very eccentric, almost like how Doja Cat be- comes out now. It's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Well, uh, did you guys hear about Planet Fitness and the whole topic on transgender? Okay, so there was a woman who was, I'll give you guys context for this. There was a woman who was at Planet Fitness and she goes into the locker room and there is a transgender woman shaving in this locker room. And there is also a 12 year old little girl in there at the gym. And so this woman was enraged. Like, why is there a man in the locker room? Yeah, yeah. And long story short, Planet Fitness revoked her membership. Oh, okay. For speaking out about it. Right. So Boozy is like going on saying, this is sad. Women across the world, it's time for you to speak up. A man with a penis in the locker room with a 12-year-old child. Not cool. Really, nobody's going to stand. You guys aren't going to take a stand for this. So I want to know, what is your thoughts on this? You know what? I'm going to stay away from this one right here. Honestly, uh, I don't think it's right that there is a, you know, quote unquote man. Right. Because it's it's a man. If he has a man part, if they have a man part, that's a man to me. Yeah. Uh, In the locker room with with my daughter or anybody else's daughter for that matter. Exactly. Or grandmother for that matter. I I think I would be a rage if it happened to one of my loved ones. I I believe the same thing. So this just happened to me yesterday at the gym. I was in the locker room and there was a transgender woman in there. Okay. That was um you know identified as I, a woman, identified as a woman but, but is a man parts. yes with man parts right? right now I didn't see the man parts okay but I was coming out of the shower I had spent time in the steam room you know I'm naked in this locker room and I just didn't feel comfortable. comfortable and I'm very open and I accept everybody everybody has their rights look I love everyone and whatever makes you happy I'm all for it but even myself as open minded as I am I still sat there and I thought I'm not very comfortable right yeah. now. Yeah. And so it's unfortunate because I would like them to be comfortable to be able to be who they are, but it also takes away from other people's comfortability. Aye, aye, it, aye. It's, it's, it's a hard conversation. It's a hard topic. And I don't know if there's really a right answer. No. Um, but I, when I saw this story, I was like, listen, I get it. I wasn't enraged, but I definitely, and I didn't say anything, but I sat there looking at this person and I just thought like, oh wow, like, I'm going through the same thing, and I, I don't really feel comfortable right now. All right, well, you thanks know? for your insight. Yeah. There's your Baker Buzz. It happens twice a day. It's a Manifest Monday with the Baker Boys Daily. First of all, why the hell was the person uh, shaving butt-ass naked for everyone yeah. to see? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They got to have some <clears throat> kind of uh, uh, You know, because people really do, and I really did feel bad for this guy, but I looked over and I thought, oh, my God, is this a man? You know, he had his Adam's apple. And, and he was sitting there, like, putting his makeup on, and I was in a bra, you know, in a thong, like, blow-drying my hair. Yeah. And I just thought, like, you know, even though you're transgender, you can still like women. Like, do you get what I'm saying? I'm so confused. It, it, I don't know. It, it, it was very unsettling for me, like... And then once he stood up, I realized, oh, my God, this is a man. He was, like, tall with, you right. know what I mean? Like, right, you could tell. You could just tell. So this happened to Melissa, as she says in the chat um, at the gym. She felt badly for the transgender yeah. person because <clears throat> a group of women surrounded him, her, and started shouting Ooh. and pushing him, and it was a bully situation. Yeah, so. see, I stayed You can't quiet. do that either. No, You can't no. do that either. That's not a place for you to do. Um, mm-hmm. But there's got to be some boundaries. Yeah. If they're going to be displaying their manhood, they should be in a man's locker room. I agree. How about that? Yeah. Right. Well, they're going to get even more pushed around in there. You know yeah. that. I mean, I uh, yeah, it's hard. You know? There, there's, I don't know. <sighs> Maybe they make uh, one area where it's neutral. Right. One neutral. Yeah. Yeah. 
you know, where that's, there's that's what my thought was. Like that's you know, the only thing that's third. only that's the only thing it could do where yeah. it could be just gender neutral mm-hmm. uh dressing area, room, whatever. Shower yeah. shower, you know, one or two in there, just something. And so. I think if you're if you're a trans you know, a transgender person, maybe you should just you know, I don't know. But then again, how do you tell somebody hide? I don't know. All right, so what's next? Um where are we at, Nick? <coughs> Hour four, right? Um, no, we're, we're in, <laughs> I wish. Yeah, I think we're in hour four. We're, we're like hour two locals. Three, two locals. Hour All right, three, I got something we can talk about here. It's the Baker Boys Daily, along with Dari Rose, one of two jams. Hip hop made as a manifest Monday. Hope you guys are writing down your manifestations, saying them out loud, using mantras to really manifest what you want in your life right now. So, I got a question for you guys. What do you feel about this? Teachers are now using AI to grade students' papers. Do it. What do you think? That's lazy. Right? Don't you yeah, agree? That's lazy. I think, I don't know. I use AI to like uh, format emails. Uh huh. <laughs> like whoa, 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 professional hold emails. Up. That's not lazy? No, because like I need like, <laughs> so in my business emails, so you guys know I do commercial real estate. Yes. So I'll say like, I'll get an email and then I'll copy some of it and I'll say, help me reply back to this. And it'll just, and I'll put what I'm kind of trying to say uh-huh. in like a sentence or two, but then it'll format it and make it sound just very. Give me an example of something like that. Like, hey, I want to write a letter to or an email about this. Like um, what would you type into chat so GPT like, or whatever? So I just put reply to this email using these words and then I'll put like, yes, I'm interested in seeing your location. Can we set it up for tomorrow? And then it'll say like, thank you so much for getting back to me. Um, I'm really excited to see your property that's located here, here, here. Mm -hmm. You know, so it just kind of like elongates and it just makes it sound a little more crisp and polished. Okay. So yeah, yeah. But um, so you think it's laziness from the teachers that they're, should should this be allowed for them to use AI to grade students' papers? Because if people, if if kids are actually doing the work, you know, uh, uh, maybe AI can find out that a, they used AI to do the work. Oh, like um, what is it called when you copy? Yeah, like pl- plagiarism. plagiarism. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Well, here's my thing: if a student is taking their time to write their paper and you're giving an assignment, you should take the time to review it and read what somebody put. Right. Okay. You know. Well, right. this is their profession, so I guess you're right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. One or two jams. Hip hop made. made. I you had so. no insight on it. No, <laughs> he's like, I, was, I don't. I care. was thinking about it, but I was like, yeah, there's nothing I can add. I got something here. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Manifest Monday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose, 102 Jams Hip Hop Made. Hello. So I had to look this number up because I was like, that's a lot of zeros, first and foremost, right here. So <laughs> look at this. San Francisco has over 600 nonprofit organizations receiving over 1.4 billion dollars. In untraceable funds Ooh. each year. Oh yeah. What? How does 1.4 billion dollars get lost? Get lost? <laughs> How do you lose that? Oh, it's not lost. Untraceable I, th- money. Th- th- that's what it is. The money goes into this foundation, and they do not have to report because it's a nonprofit organization. Six hundred nonprofits in San Francisco. So what you have to do is you got to go to all the board members of all these nonprofit organizations and find out how they are funneling the money to them, to their other companies. So Ari, I think we should start a nonprofit I so agree. we can get part of this one point four billion. I love it. I yeah. would like to lose a couple billions. Let's do it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's untraceable anyway. What are we gonna call our nonprofit? Oh man. Oh. Uh, Shh, that's a good one. Huh? Uh, give me the dough. <laughs> give me the dough, LLC. We'll, we'll, we'll start a non-profit pizza place <laughs> for under privi- underprivileged kids. Okay, you, and you give wow. out pizza dough for for free in yes. the neighborhood. Yeah. And we collect money to be able to supply the oh, pizza dough. That's a really good idea. Give me the dough. We go to all give of me. the p- the pizza places with leftover dough. We take that Ooh. and we turn it into it's non-profit. So yeah, you know. yeah. and then we give it out for free. Yeah. But then where do we get the money? From the, from the nonprofit, from the from the, uh, the donations or whatever donations. But I thought they're donating oh, dough. You said dough nations. Dough nations. <laughs> hey, we're making money, y'all. Let's do it. Give me 1. the dough. One point four billion untraceable funds. Yeah, guys. we're so annoying we're, in the morning. Start, start your nonprofit today. They're not gonna check you, bro. We're in the wrong business. But will they dough? <laughs> really dough. Anyway, One or two jams hip hop made. made. What is wrong with us? Hour number four. Oh. Okay, I got something here. All right. Okay. Uh, 
It's the Baker Boys Daily. Ari Rose in the building. Hey, Ari, I got a question for you. Yes. Has anybody ever sent you a D pic? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All I'm right. sure she's got plenty. So, have you ever heard of a man uh, being taken to jail because sending too many D pics? What? It happened in England. What finally. A creep. Yeah. He's got to go to jail for these things. Boys. Hold on. Is this a dummy? Yeah, it's a dummy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your dummy of the day, and we're going to take it to jolly old England. Yeah. Evidently, this man was sending DPs <laughs> to a lot of females out there, right? Oh, no. Everybody knows we don't want to see a picture of your junk, ladies nope. and gentlemen, or mostly ladies, right? Well, check this out. This 39-year-old man named Nicholas Hawkins has become the first man in the country to be jailed for cyber flashing. <laughs> cyber flashing. He got nailed. Um, he got nailed with a 66-month sentence after a judge found that he targeted a woman and a teenage girl Whoa. with pictures oh, no. of, his, of his exposed junk. Wow. So he's going to be exposing himself in jail to a whole lot more things. Listen, there is nothing worse than an, an unwanted D pick. pick. Yeah. There is nothing worse than that. I haven't got one like in a lot of a long, long, long time. But I would say like maybe like 20, 10, 12, 10 years ago, whatever. I, I gotta, people would send random D pics. Right. Like you don't even know this person. <laughs> and it might even not even be theirs. Well, the worst part is like, why are you sending me something that small? Like, what are you proud of? What are you proud of? Jeez. Like, there is nothing to see. Literally, uh, nothing. But I got a question for the only other guy in the house. Eric, have you ever received unwanted naked pictures of a woman? Uh, I've received them, and I usually just throw them away. I toss everything. I don't care. Wait a minute. Like, directly to your phone? Yeah. Yeah, oh. I've received them before. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 You, don't you, you guys seem so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> Because I would think it would be over uh, social media or something like yeah, that, but not on your phone. It was some lady from a senior citizen home, but... <laughs> I'm weak. I said no more. So you didn't keep it for, um, like, as a tool? Yeah, I wasn't or... showing it to everybody. Oh. No. <laughs> All right, guys, he's your dummy of the day coming out of England. Do not go ahead and uh, cyber flash anybody. Yes, yeah, stop sending this. Oh. That is, like, so 2010. You're going to jail. All right, so two SF locals. Okay, I got uh, something right here. Okay. <coughs> 102 Jams, Hip Hop Made, Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building for a Manifest Monday. This is pretty funny right here. So under new California law to protect IDs, police department photos are posted of suspects with Lego heads on them now. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Why are they trying to... <laughs> They're protecting their ID of wanted people, but they put Lego heads That's on their pictures. Stupid! What? We, we, want, we want to see the people that are wanted. I know, but look at the Lego head. He has a he has a tear tattoo on him. Did you see oh that? Oh my <laughs> god! What do you think about that, guys? So, I mean, why even post it if you can't even see the person? It says under new California law to protect IDs. Well, yeah, I get that, but then like, why even post it then? Uh, that's what know. I'm trying to that's say. All, it's that's like the only you... thing they can do is post. <laughs> that you know, is so ridiculous. They're trolling. <laughs> like, this is a, There's this no is... use for that. No. Somebody's getting paid to do this. You think so? Think about that. You know what I mean? What, what, they should be doing other things with their resources. Not facts. <laughs> sitting over here putting little emojis over faces that they're trying to protect. They're trying to get their social media numbers up. That's all. <laughs> Bro. But, you know, everything is just so overexposed now. Yeah. You know, everybody posts every single thing now. Like, I saw this um, news. Did you see the, the kid that crossed the border? And um, the people that smuggled him over, like, left him. No. And they oh. went on. So he was lost by himself. He's a teenager. Oh, no. And he was lost by himself for two days. They oh. ended up finding him. And wow. so they record this. And he's talking about, like, the cartel was after him. Great. And, like, just all this stuff. And then everyone in the comments, because I'm, I'm a big comment reader. Yeah, like, yeah. I'll go read, like, the first couple comments. But everyone's like, okay, if he's being wanted by the cartel and had to whatever, whatever, like, or whatever the situation was with the cartel, why would you be posting this child? Because they don't care. Exactly. With like no blur on, like they didn't blur his face yeah. out. Nothing no. like that. He's, a, like, he's an alien as far as they're like, concerned. Like why are you overexposing these people? Like there's no regard that's, for humanity that's anymore. That's the society it's so that we're sad. in. Yeah, it's nasty. Yeah. It's gross, gross, gross. Help that yep. boy out. Make a boy's yep. daily 102 Jams hip hop made. All right. Just another it. local? Yep. Oh, I got something here. 
Manifest Monday. Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. One or two jams. Hip hop made. How y'all doing out there? Uh, I am a big movie goer. I always talk about this, right? So there's a new study that's revealing that two thirds of adults favor watching movies at home over going to see it at the theater. For me, it's like it's a different experience at the theater yeah. than watching it at home. Oh, for, for sure. sure. You got the big screen, you got the sound system, you got annoying people next to you sometimes. But Chewing popcorn. You got the you got the popcorn, you got the candy. Yeah. You know, what do you guys prefer? I like both, but I will say if it's something I'm looking forward to, um, definitely go to the movies to watch it. Mm -hmm. And one of the main reasons, too, is like when you're at the movies, you're not on your phone. You're not being right. distracted. Yeah, yeah. You're actually when I'm focused. At, yeah, when I'm at home, I'll think, oh, dang, I forgot to put the laundry in. Put oh, <laughs> but, you know, or I grab my laptop and start prepping for the show or something and, and you're not really mm -hmm. fully engaged yeah i i agree uh with you guys because there's a couple of movies that i want to go see and i can watch them <laughs> if i buy them online but my, we're, we're supposed to go to the movies with eric to go see one yeah. nick's been supposed to go to with to the movie with me for Se four weeks february now. 14th it came out <laughs> so we got to lock that in okay so but also you know dune i want to go see dune but i i want to see dune it's good i want to see it in it? the theater it's really good oh yeah, yeah, yeah you did say dune 2 was better dune 2 you was said the first one was slow better. right yeah this, this one was really I need good. to watch number one. I'm going to do that tonight. Yeah. All right, so you want to go to the movies this week, Eric? Uh, you know what? I'm, it's totally... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, just call me when you're ready. Just, yeah, just tell me when you're ready. I can go at any time usually. So right, it's one I, don't, I don't need to put it in my calendar. Hip hop, man. Okay. I do. All right, last story. Last um, story. I have a little feel good. Oh. All right, cool. Go with it. Nick V, Eric V, Baker B O Y Z, along with Ari Rose. She has a feel good story. Yeah. Shout out to the parents who raise good children. Mm. This one year, uh, this one child gave a teacher a present. I'm gonna tell you guys when the story because if I tell it right now, it's gonna reveal the whole story. Just stay tuned. Okay. Does it feel good? One or two jams. Oh, okay. One or two jams. Hip hop, hip -hop made. made. B, take it away. All right, part of Beepo, it's the Baker Boys. Before we get up out of here, we got a feel-good story about one student that was raised right by their parents. Yes. And gave the teacher a... A, a very thoughtful a, gift. Okay, let's Okay, see. so one teacher said, a student of mine saw other kids giving me presents and he had nothing to give. Mm. He took a box from a present he was given and his purple crayon from his pouch and wrapped it. He walked up to me and said, I hope you love it. It's your favorite color. Aww. I still get tears in my eyes when I open this box and so she posted the box with a little purple crayon in it Yay. and I think that is so beautiful like to it's it's not you know what is in the box it's yeah, the it's thought the that thought. counts it's, it's the, the fact that he paid attention and realized that purple was her favorite color right I love that that's beautiful but I also feel bad for the little boy because he's like what am I gonna do what am I gonna do I gotta find something to give her <laughs> <laughs> The pressure. Can you imagine the pressure? The pressure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he thinks on his feet, so you know, he's yeah. gonna be fine. His life is gonna be fine. <laughs> Have you guys, right. Did you guys ever gift a teacher anything? Of any sort? Uh, probably. Gosh, I don't even remember it, to be honest. I've been out of school for so long. Who knows? Mm. Probably in elementary school. Yeah. That was my favorite time in school was yeah, elementary sure. school. 100%. Once I got to junior high, it was all downhill. I remember in <laughs> high school, we had this one. Uh, oh, my God. What was his name? Mr. Giovanni. Rest in peace. Um, and I remember he wouldn't say nothing if we would cut school and he loved McDonald's. So we would like leave during oh lunch and we'd come back. We had him right after lunch and like we'd always bring him back a cheeseburger. I think every high school or every school had a Mr. Giovanni. Right. My wife tells a similar story where she yeah. would ditch this one particular teacher and say, hey, you can hang out in here, but you got to go get me breakfast. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I agree. Shout oh. out to those cool teachers that, teacher. that allow you to feel comfortable enough to. Yeah, it's a safe space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just bring the cheeseburgers. <laughs> All right, guys, we got to get up out of here. We will catch you on Terrific Tuesday tomorrow right here for the Baker Boys Daily. We gone. We gone. Oh, shit. I cut it. Tomorrow right here for the Baker Boys Daily. We gone. I'll let you do it on the second yeah, just, track. Just pick it up. We gone. Oh, it was there. You could use it. All right, cool. Use that. All right. All promo. Right, so promo. I forgot. Did I do a regular story? I don't even think I used... Uh, wait, where did I put the, um, I didn't do, I did the sex toys on Friday show, I believe, right? Or did I do it today? I'm trying to remember mine, bro. <laughs> but I, listen, I'm trying to remember mine, Hold too. On, then we got to go back, then. Listen to some shit. Did I? We still got to do Katie, guys. Oh, I did the vial, the blood vial. That's a, that's a, uh, 
that's a baker buzz. So. No, it wasn't. Oh, was it? Okay. How what they crazy there. is that? That a blood vial was yep. found in a blood vial to be spanked or want to do the spanking? <laughs> yeah. Stuff. Okay, I did this the sex stuff. Hold on. Okay. Let me go here. Um. Okay, I got it. I got it. Got it. Got it. I do. I do. I <laughs> Don't worry about it. We can do them. Yeah. We got it. two. That's enough. All right, cool. Bring the noise. It's the Baker Boys with your daily fix of fun. It is a Manifest Monday. Tune on in because we got some great stories for y'all. A customer who ordered clothing from Sheen found a blood vial in her package. Jeez. And also, if your sex life is a little boring, you can just walk to the kitchen and <laughs> get some new things into your life. Some we'll, saran wrap. Yeah, we'll tell you, we'll tell you which ones to use. With your daily fix of fun. Tune in to 102 Jams Hip Hop Made, your name, your favorite new morning show, The Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. So, a customer that ordered a package of clothing from Sheen has found some blood, a blood vial in oh. her package. Oh man, and if you want to add some, and if you want to add some spice to your love life in the bedroom, just go to the kitchen. We're gonna give you a <laughs> list of everything you can use for sexy time. Chalula me, zaddy. <laughs> 102 Jams Hip Hop Made. Speed. It made me sad the other day when Raylan told me he drew a picture for his classmate and classmates threw it in the trash. No. Oh, they're jerks. Wow. That sucks. Yeah, kids can be assholes. 100%. Well, they're just a reflection of their mother, parents. Their parents. Home. All right, so K-Day. Yes. All uh, right, let me see here. I got some news. I got the promo. I'm just going to get some other stories over here um some hip-hop stories uh, got this okay okay do you have any stories that you want to do yeah All right. i got some grammys i got oh shit i forgot to do that that's that's the other one i want to do for the day last whole thing Stay last soul. I don't have that. They they got they got. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're nominated for the fiftieth anniversary. I can do Beyonce and Marlon Wayans. And I got That's Jake fine. Cole too. Yeah, you could stay with that. All right. So okay. uh, one, two. You got the promo. Yes, I got the promo. I'm just trying to make sure I didn't. There's one more story I wanted to do here. This Alicia Keys and Rock Nation. Okay. Um. So. Legos right. has a huge contract with the government. Wow. Those where our spaceships are going to be made out of. Five K Day Hip Hop back in the day. It's a feel good Friday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. And coming up, we're going to be telling you how to get those tickets celebrating 60 years to go to Sea World for our family four pack. That's coming up. And plus, what are you talking about, Ari Rose? Beyonce has expressed her gratitude to everyone who has listened to her new country music, and she's telling us what she hopes to get from this new album that she is dropping. All right. Back to the music with those. I can do the promo now. Okay. All right. Friday night with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose, 93.5 K-Day Hip Hop, back in the dizzy. All weekend long, we got your chance to get some tickets to Family 4-Pack for, San- for SeaWorld San Diego, of course, celebrating 60 years. Meet new faces up close with dolphins and belugas, Ooh. an all-new jellyfish, uh, jellyfish exhibit opening and this spring, and ride thrilling new rides like the Rescue, the Arctic Rescue and Emperor. So that's a lot of stuff right there, man. Plus, you check out the Seafood 7 Food Festival now through April 28th, passes as low as $12 a month. Visit SeaWorld at San Diego. Visit SeaWorld at San Diego.com. Of course, you can text that keyword shark, keyword shark right now to 683. Yeah. Of course, you can text the keyword shark right now to 68683 right now for your chance to win. Of course, being brought to you by Big Al, hurt, injured in an accident. Call Big Al, 1 800 hurt, 123 and 93.5 K Day. Hip hop back, back in, in the, the day. day. A mouthful. Yeah, it was a lot of stuff. <laughs> All right, so Beyonce. Yeah, yep. we can go with that. It's Friday night with the Baker Boys and All right, Rose, one or two, Jim. Did you say both stations? No. 
93.5 K Day Hip Hop back of the day. Day. Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. Did you guys see the new cover art for Beyonce's album? Yes. What did you think about it? Well, the first thing I saw on social media was uh, Erica Erica Badu Badu. trolling and talking about the look that she stole from her. Oh, man. What do you think about that, though? Uh, I don't know. I mean, do you think she stole the look? I mean, Erica Badu's been having that look for a long long A time. All right. (laughs) She's got the fronts on, she's got the cowboy hat, and then she's got the braids. I mean, that look is, she's been doing that for years and years and years. Mm. But she ain't never uh, exploited her body like Beyonce does. Yeah. Hey, now. That was a lot of body. Oh, it's, it, it's there. That, it's that, all there. Well, Beyonce there. expressed. <laughs> <laughs> she expressed her gratitude to those who have supported the track Texas Hold'em and 16 Carriages. She explained that the project was born out of an experience five years ago where she felt unwelcome at a Nashville Awards ceremony. It forced her to take a deep dive into the history of country music, saying, My hope is that years from now, the mention of an artist's race as it relates to releasing genres of music will be irrelevant. I love that for her. I love it as well. People have been doing it for a long time. Beyonce ain't the first black uh, country artist. That part. Okay. So she's been, uh, there's other people that have broke down those doors. Yes. But for somebody like her on the the world stage that she does have, it's probably a little more difficult for for her to break in there, uh, unfortunately, for some reason. You think so? Well, I mean, come on. I think Beyonce can bully her way through any door. Nah, I want to say about that. You're going to bully all of Nashville? Well, she just did. Nashville's a different. (laughs) different world bro nah, man it's a whole different world <laughs> you might have uh the numbers you might have the the, the sell, quote unquote sales but yeah. all those numbers can be round up yeah i don't believe yeah. anything that these major record very, labels very do true. uh so don't get it twisted yep and i agree they the numbers might say that you're welcome but guess what sister you walk into nashville and if you don't have the the, the respect the grand old yeah. opry yeah, yeah yeah there's it's like a game yeah i agree straight up <laughs> pretty much all right, well, she's breaking the mold, apparently. Good luck. 93.5K to hip-hop back, back in, in the day. day. All right, I got the uh, Grammy. Okay. You want to do that, or you want to... Well, you... Get, don't matter. All right, go ahead. 93.5K to hip-hop back in the day. All right, with the 50th anniversary Hall of Fame inductees are announced. CBS Mornings announced the inductees, so we're talking about the list full of legends you could be expected to be announced for this. So okay. let's talk with Laura, Lauren Hill. Why not? Is on there. Yay. De La Soul Yay. is on there. Donna Summer. Hey. I'm just going to name a couple of them. The Doobie Brothers and William Bell and Guns N' Roses. So Ooh. that's a pretty good company right there. Yeah. There's going to be a, a gala, of course, honoring the inductees. It's going to take place in May at the Grammy Museum. So congratulations nice. to De La, to Lauren Hill, to Donna Summer, all those people being you know, on this list of Lots potential, of great. yeah, potential Hall of Fame nominees. That's amazing. Yeah. Shout out to them. A lot of work went into getting that nominee. So they're all, we celebrate them all. Yeah. Yes, 100%. absolutely. Who's your favorite on that list? Lauren Hill and De La Soul, yes, Donna agree. Summer. Oh my God. Yeah. The Doobie Brothers. Oh God. Legends. <laughs> Guns and Roses. Yep. Yeah. Come on, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a playlist. Let's put a playlist together. Grab me. Hall of Fame playlist. Mm-hmm. Mix that one. Right? Baker, Baker Boys Day. Baker Boys in the house. 93.5 K Day. Hip Hop back, back in the, in the day. day. I was like, what station? <laughs> You're confusing me. Oh, well, it happens. All right. Around this time. Uh, we should talk about the Dr. Dre star <coughs> the other day. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Baker Boys and Ari Rose on a Friday night, 93.5 K-Day Hip Hop back in the day. The K-Day Nation was out in yes. full force on Tuesday for the Dr. Dre mm-hmm. Hall of Fame. Oh, it's the, actually the star. Hollywood Walk of Fame. Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yes, yep. and 50 Cent was there. Did you guys see him? 50 Cent showed up. <laughs> oh. Eminem showed God. up. Snoop Dogg showed up. And then they did uh, Jimmy uh, Jimmy Kimmel later Jimmy that Kimmel. night. Yeah. yeah. Which is pretty cool. They had like a little whole skit uh, looking for a doctor like he was in the hospital. Yeah. It was really dope the way they yeah. did that and just paying homage to Dr. Dre and he had a couple announcements himself he said Eminem's coming out with the new album yep. Snoop Dogg's coming out with the new album Ooh. 50 Cent's doing a song with Snoop on his new album Ooh. so a lot of news right yeah. there so it's really exciting really dope to, to see and see them uh, honor him in the way that he deserves to be honored absolutely you know? but I, had, I was looking at Eminem I'm like does he ever wear anything else besides just like a hoodie in his glasses okay Bro. so here, here's my problem with Eminem right Uh-oh. now brother Uh-oh. brother 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 stop Dying. Dying your beard. Your beard. <laughs> of, Let it go, bro. Out of place. It looks so bad. And that's, what, you know, I have gray hair. All right. I, I will not dye my hair because of how bad it would look. Yeah. It looks fake. It does not look good. It looks like somebody put some crayon on his face. <laughs> Just stop it, bro. You don't even need a beard. 
<laughs> People with beards need beards because they need a jawline, like me. I am right? looking at the photos right now. It looks so I just... terrible. Oh, my well, hold on. gosh. Fat Joe looks the same way. Have you seen Fat Joe's beard? Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but that the, is the, 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 the difference between Fat Joe and Eminem, he, Fat Joe's a little, he has a little more pigment to him, okay? Eminem <laughs> does it. So it looks even worse. It looks like he's drawing with yeah, a black Yeah, It looks out. like they put like one of those straps like, in Like, let it like go, fake. bro. Just yeah. either, either cut it off. You don't need it. Cut it off. Very mean. Uh, I, I just wanted to talk about this for so long, y'all. I was like, God, come on, man. Do you Thanks. feel better now? No. Yeah. It, just tell him to stop coloring his beard, bro. Let it go. 93.5 K to hip hop back, back in the, in the day. day. Just cut his supply off. So we can find out who, who makes it. No more just for men. <laughs> Just for, please, an all pick. Just for M. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Well, maybe he should do a, you know, like a, a deal with them. Just yeah, for M. Yeah, just for M. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got some Alicia Keys. Okay. Let's do this right here, and then somebody could w- go with the next one. 93.5 K Day Hip Hop back in the day. Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building on a Friday night. All right, shout out to Alicia Keys and Rock Nation. They rescued a drama program at Professional Performing Arts School in NYC. Hey. 12 year twelve year old Tennyson. I can't I can't say her last name. I'm gonna say I can't even say it. So can you say this? Art Artigelli. Tennyson Artiglier. Oh, yeah. See, I can't say it. You can't say it. Artiglier. Well, anyway, she started a GoFundMe hoping to raise $102,000 following the budget cuts at school. Alicia Keys contributed $60,000 to the cause uh, on top of the $50,000 already raised. Hey. So wow. Alicia Keys also committed to helping annually raise the funds to keep the program going until the city budget can support it. So that's really cool. Yeah. A performing inspiring. arts center, in, you know, for the kids to be artistic and, they, and express mm-hmm. themselves. They mm-hmm. need that, man, in the schools, around the neighborhood. They need outlets, not to get into other bad things that are yeah. available to them. So mm-hmm. thank you, Alicia Keys. And yeah. very inspiring. Right. How about everybody else do that in your city as well? Yes. Listen, hey, yeah. Indeed. Put your money where your mouth is. 93.5 93. K-Day. Back, back in the day. day.